All right, given the state of the New Orleans Saints run game, we've got to talk about the move they just made in the draft. Third round, Kendra Miller from TCU. I feel like he's like he's got some good traits. He's got explosive plays to him. He's got good size, but he's not known as a pass catcher. Um, fumbles a little bit, upright runner. I, I feel like that there's something that can be molded here for the Saints. And I'm not sure how he necessarily fits in in 2023, but I think he's kind of worth taking the chance on once you get past 12th overall in rookie only drafts. Heath, what say you? Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna. I, I think when we get all things are said and done, most of the second round is going to be running backs, except for the tight ends. Um, we'll, we're going to have quite a few wide receivers in round one, and quite a few running backs in round two, and Miller will be towards the top of that list. I do have a little bit of concern in that it seems like in year one his best opportunity for success would be when for however long that Alvin Kamara is suspended. He's going to be sharing with Jamal Williams even in that situation. But it's not hard to look at this team, and you said it, probably not for this year, but maybe for the future. The kid's 20 years old. He doesn't even turn 21 until June. So mm. that's the perfect type of running back if you wanted to add where you have – Alvin Kamara, who's going to be 28. Jamal Williams, who's 27 or 28 years old. Those guys are not long for New Orleans. So this could be a situation where he's really, you know, I, I think if I remember when Kamara came into the league, like the first four games of the year where he touched the ball like five Did times. Did almost nothing. Right. I, he had I think one we'll game with long, a lot of catches. Will take longer than four games for Miller to get going. But there is some potential upside, and he has the time to develop at his young age. Broke out at age 20. He had almost 1,400 rushing yards literally one yard shy of that with 17 touchdowns for TCU, just 29 receptions over 33 games. So I don't know if he can fit into the Camara role necessarily, but if Camara misses time, he could get in the mix. And I would say that he's more explosive than Jamal Williams because pretty much everybody is more explosive than Jamal Williams. So this is a diamond in the rough, not only for the saints, but for dynasty managers as well. Keep the name Kendra Miller in mind. When you get to your rookie only drafts and until we see more, I don't know if he's a redraft. You agree with me on that? one? I think um, we will, we'll find out how long Alvin Kamara is suspended for is if, if, if you tell me there's no Kamara suspension, then no, I don't think Kendry Miller is draftable in redraft. If it's half, but if it's season, four or more, if it's half the season or six games, then yeah, I think we'll be drafting Someone him in around 10 or so. Yeah. I, I would agree with you on that. Okay. We'll see how he adapts in new Orleans. We'll see how the saints run game does. It is a pretty good offensive line and a good offense in general that Miller is finding himself in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stick with us all year long. We do this all the time on YouTube, CBS Sports, Fantasy Football Today.